This is an unscripted video just talking about a film that I think is absolutely astonishing that came out this year and it's called Moonlight. And it's been getting a lot of great reception recently. It's just came out. It's got a limited release, so I hope you can find it. Especially if you're in the UK, it might be quite hard to find. I've seen it uh, at the Foil Film Festival in London Derry here in Northern Ireland. And it was a, a one-night screening and it was at 10.30pm. And I'm just really glad I went to go because so far, for the time being, that is definitely the best film that I've seen from this year. And... I just want to share a few thoughts on the film without getting wet to you in death and I just want to uh, let everyone know this film exists and they should go see it. So the film is directed by Barry Jenkins who is a relatively new director. He has only done one other film before that, feature film I mean, and it was on a very small budget under like $30,000 or something. So the director isn't exactly a well-known one, he's quite new. Um, the actors, most of the actors are quite unknown, some of them aren't, act weren't really you know, they don't have much of an acting background. Uh, but not, Naomi Harris does play a part in it, who is probably the most significant actor in there. So what is the plot then? What is Moonlight all about? So Moonlight is divided up into three. It follows uh, this black character called Chiron in LA. And uh, we look at him as a child, we look at him as a teenager, and then we look at him as an adult. So we see three different stages of his life. And the film is really about him being... Uh, being brought up in quite a bad background and also most importantly that he is gay so he is black and he is gay and he comes from quite a rough neighborhood so it really just deals with how he has processed his emotions and grown up throughout that and how it's affected his life what i really like about this film is uh, a lot of people know this is going to be an lgbt film but what's so astonishing about it is how quiet the film really is it's it's not heavy-handed at all with what it's trying to say. It's very slow, it's very subtle. There's little dialogue in the film um, in terms of like characters saying how they feel. Everything's done extremely well in the performances and I think it, it's, it speaks volumes to being accurate about that kind of life. And it's not exactly a story that we've seen very often in film, you know, black gayness, which is not exactly the same as white gayness, you know, especially in America, uh, different upbringings, and it, it, it's very specific about that kind of uh, background and living, and I think it just does a tremendous job at getting to the emotional core of the issue and the kind of problems that come around, uh, ideas of gender and sexuality, and also uh, race to some degree. And I think, I think really the film, while it most definitely is, it's more focused about homosexuality, black homosexuality, that is, I also think this is a film about a character trying to find it within himself to deal with his own emotions. And, and, and it's not just a coming out of the closet film. It's not someone just trying to accept that he's gay. It's just there's something so much more beautiful about it and the relationships that happen in the film. And the fact that we see him from child to adult, there's something really it's very heartfelt about the whole film. And the cinematography is absolutely beautiful, I think. Uh, even like, you'll know straight from the opening shot that this film is going to be quite in interesting and be it in terms of its cinematography. We have this big long shot. Um, it's almost dizzying, in fact, uh, bringing us into the world of uh, one of the characters who isn't isn't uh, Shiro, my main character, but uh, someone that Shiro meets later on in the film. It's just the way everything's shot. The film is really, really beautifully done. Um, and, and the sound design in some parts, like when they're on the beach, uh, the moon's hitting. The moon is the only light on the beach, and and they're sitting and looking at the waves and that calm sound. You know, you, you can almost feel the breeze. So, things like that. Very beautiful moments in the film. There's a lot more I could say about this film, and it's definitely one when it gets to the wide release, I'm gonna go see it again because it was just, just a, a, a phenomenal film in terms of, not being heavy handed in its message at all. I think it, it's just beautifully subtle and extremely well acted. I think it's really down to the performances that carry this one for its message because there's the little choices that the actors make in, in, their, in their gestures, the way they move, you know, even just the position of their hair, the way they you know, don't, don't make eye contact, everything like that. Great, great acting. Honestly, like, considering even the, the, the child, the teenager, and the guy who plays the adult, um, uh, Trevin Rhodes, they're all phenomenal performances and you really get a sense of that character because of that 
And overall, yeah, I mean, there's some, I could go in depth more about the themes of sexuality, black sexuality, race, and all that sort of thing. But for the time being, that's all I want to say. I just think it's an, a film you should see urgently. I do actually feel like this could be one of the most important films we've had in recent times. It's getting, it's getting phenomenal reviews, uh, deservingly so. I hope more people get to see this film because it really is beautiful and I can't wait to see it again. So that's it, everyone. If you have seen it, I'd love to hear your, your thoughts below in terms of how it deals with all those themes. And yeah, I hope you can see it for yourself. Thanks a lot, everyone, for joining. I will see you next time. Keep up to date with my reviews. And you can see what I did last week with my American Beauty one. And yeah, that's my new thing now. I'll be doing a video once a week. I'll see you next time.